I am JD Wolf, and welcome to my XCOM Enemy Within Long War campaign. We're going to go with Impossible Difficulty. The second wave options we're going to choose are Hidden Potential, where the soldiers level up or randomized. I'm not going with strict screening or the new economy, and definitely not damage roulette. Training roulette, no. Safe scum, no. Red fog, yes, because it applies to aliens as well. So it has become a priority for me to uh, heal the wounds of my soldiers in combat when they take damage and this will just make it doubly imperative and also an alien knocked down to one hit point will not be <laughs> a, uh, a game killer especially on impossible difficulty this could uh, this could prove to be uh, important absolutely critical I like that when you get a flanking shot it is an automatic critical I really really like that liberator free all countries before you can take the final mission so we're gonna have lots of base assault missions if they get lots of bases not so long war we'll cut out I'm gonna show you guys the missions the important missions uh, so that means I keep doing uh, a lot so that means that uh, with using not so long war the miscellaneous missions will be cut down a little bit. Uh, the missions I'm not going to show you is going to be cut down a little bit and I can move forward with the videos a little bit better. Results driven, no. Cinematic, no. Dimension returns, no. More than human, no. Itchy trigger tentacle. Now this will create an interesting um, set of circumstances. Upon being revealed, some aliens may attempt to shoot instead of moving or going into Overwatch. Of course, if they shoot, they're normally going to be standing out in the open, but um, this requires that I move into cover and I, you know, don't leave my guys exposed. And uh, because my favorite mission is when my base is being assaulted. And the reason is that everything on the map that shows up is already activated. I don't have to go activate them. They're going to come, they're coming at me. You know, and I'm taking them out with Overwatch or going in and killing them or whatever, but I can't move forward willy-nilly uh, thinking, hey, nothing's been activated yet. Nobody's actually going to shoot at me when anybody could shoot at me at any time. I like that. And so with the Trigger Tentacle, I kind of get some of that in the regular game as well. Not going to take any of that. Definitely not total loss. Internal sources, no. But aiming angles, yes. Mine hits matter, no. So that's quite a lot of selections. So just keep this in mind, guys, as you're watching the uh, the playthrough of the campaign. Hidden potential, red fog, absolutely critical. Liberators, not so long war. Itchy trigger tentacle, and aiming angles on impossible difficulty. Okay, so all right. So the next thing we're going to do, let's talk about the continent bonuses. North America, seventy percent of the regular cost for building and maintenance of all aircraft and, and the aircraft weapon cost. So that's pretty critical because that is really expensive now. Europe, uh, where laboratories and workshops are cheaper, was a viable option when workshops provided engineers. They have taken that out. Workshops do not provide the engineers. Asia, very important. Foundry and Officer Training School costs are very, very high, and knocking them down by 40% is critical. So we're going to go with Asia. South America gives power facilities a reduction in the cost. You only have a few of those. You're going to get some generators, and then that's it. Now, the maintenance is reduced as well, but I used to prefer Africa, but when you do the math on the savings of the things that you're mostly building, aircraft foundry projects and um, the uh, officer training school projects those are the main expenses and reducing those by 40 percent or 30 percent up here including the maintenance is better than 30 percent money coming in overall now i am going to take asia for this bonus however i'm going to encourage the aliens to shoot down the satellite because I don't need any satellite coverage in order to get this bonus. And I'm going to take my first three satellites and take North America as quickly as possible to get both bonuses. That's the plan. 
So we're going with Asia. Now I've modified the, the default area of colors. Engagement for this mission will be in India. You see these guys are black. A local broadcast indicating alien activity within a major metropolitan area. We should get down there and eliminate any hostiles. All right, and the default is red for uh, for long war, but I've gone in and I've changed all the default colors for all the different classes, including the rookies, to uh, to my style of colors that you've seen in previous campaigns. Let me come in low over the trees. Now in beta 12, there is a bug where armor is not working correctly. But I have applied a hot fix for that. And then I'll upgrade to beta 13 as soon as it comes out. Strike one, this is central. You are free to engage all hostile contacts in the AO. Don't take any chances. So it looks like the hot fix is working because everybody has their full hit points. Um, all right, let's see what we have. We have AP grenades, looks like everybody's in vests. Uh, AP grenade, AP and a med kit, that's cool. Two AP. 2 AP, AP and a med kit. And what does this guy have in the second slot? I don't know. Um, uh, perhaps some armor? No, not armor. I don't know what he has in his second slot. If anything, maybe a laser sight. It doesn't say. Okay. We do have one med kit. Paolo. Alright. Paolo. Roof is the best, but we can't get to the roof from here. But we can go around and get to the roof. I know this map very well. Let's go through and around. There's a ladder right there, but that is very exposed. So let's come up here for a door breach. Let's see what everybody's aim is. Uh, that's 68, 63. Seventy-one. That's a good one. Sixty-one. That's bad. Seventy-five. There's our expert, Inez. And seventy. So we're gonna put Inez Moving. there. And I think this one was seventy-one, right? No, sixty. Defense. Seventy-one, right there. Up. Oh, can't reach it. Okay, well, if they can't reach it, they can't reach aye, it. Aye, Commander. Put Leon right there, off at 61. That's not good. I don't want to look through the window yet. Roger that. We'll put him looking around the corner. Okay. Aye, aye, Commander. Now, because they have itchy trigger tentacle, I don't want... Go right here. I don't want to have these guys vulnerable. That's oh, that'd be looking in the window. Goodness. Getting it done. All right, I'm gonna put her a little outside of view right there. All right. Alt O for Overwatch for everyone. So you hold down the Alt key, press O, everyone's on Overwatch. And you see the little eye icon over there, over their head. I'm not so much worried about Mel as getting these guys through this mission. Moving out. And I should have had them uh, steady their weapons instead, because that is a new thing you can do. So I'm going to go ahead and do that Get this forward. time. I'm rolling. Yes, sir. Double time. Ten four. Overwatch. I am. What was that? Okay. Still the alien's turn. Get them set up a little bit more, like that. And here you have steady weapon. What that's going to do is give you a bonus of 20 to your aim, 
for next turn if you don't move. And you see, ah, it's got a little icon underneath their feet saying that they are steadying their weapon. And I'm going to go Alt-O, put everyone else on Overwatch in case somebody comes through the door. Okay. These guys, let's open the door. Alien life on Earth. We're witnessing something never before seen in recorded history. Wow, so they're really spread out. One out there, one over there, and then one right here. That is a pretty good chance for him being in full cover so far away. Let's go ahead and take that shot. Oh, nice one. So steady Their weapons weapon. appear to self-destruct when the operator dies. We should look closely for any fragments that could be salvaged for our own development programs. All right, so let's get these other guys in here. They one was out over here, and then one was back back on the outside of there. That is full cover. Heading there now. Go there. Yes, Commander. You know, half cover is better in this game. So in Long War. I'm on it, Commander. So it is a viable option. It provides uh, about two thirds the benefit of on full cover. Way. I'll put everyone on Overwatch. <laughs> Let them come to us. And there they are. Of course he's going to get a flank, but we got him. There he is. Okay, so I misunderstood where the guy was. He was actually out here. The other one is in over here. He could very well be on Overwatch, but we got to get going. See him over there. Rolling. I'm just gonna make a slow approach up over here. Heading out. Nothing over there. Okay. I don't want to come up to the door too much and possibly get something exposed. That is full cover. Yeah, if you're down in there, you may not be able to see too well coming up. Okay. Let's go down there anyway. All right, who do we have left over here? Moving out. Let's put her over there, and the last one. Heading right there here. now. And everyone on Overwatch. <laughs> Confirmed. Gotta be on the other side of that door right there. I thought he was. He could have moved yes, anywhere. I'm on the Very move. cautious on moving up. Heading to that location. Okay. So that everyone can be on Overwatch, uh, except for her, because I don't like her position. Let's. Have our run over there for next time. All right. We want an Overwatch. What the hell was that? There we go. There he is. Oh, it's a hit too. Very nice. They're doing a real good job of hitting and all of the guys so he went out and all the way around i think he spawned out here and then went all the way around i'm not sure um we do hear guys out in the center over there i don't i want to attack them from the roof and really the only way to get up there is the stairs up over here 
So let's have everyone come out the front. On and around. Back up for reload. Go. We're going to put everyone over there. Roger, Doesn't Dodger. need to reload. Not necessary to reload there. Yeah. He could reload, but I'm going to have him dash right. anyway. Already there. I don't want to send her up farther. That's affirmative. I'm gonna move her up right there. Roger. She'll overwatch for them. Okay. Let's come up over here. Headed there now. Everybody just move Heading on down. Solid copy. Heading there now. Heading there now. I'm on it, Commander. I'm ready. Reload there. Anybody who needs to reload, we're gonna reload. That's good. Over one. No, we may not be able to get up to the roof because there's this ladder over there's a ladder over there and there's the stairs over here and if we can't get to the stairs without activating them we may have to fight them on the ground moving so let's tuck everybody in back there whoops time to motor double time moving on target location get bored Itchy trigger tentacle also makes me not want to. All right, let's um. That's a see if she can get around the corner here. Yes, she can. All right. Um. Moving. I'm gonna put her up that far, and that should be nice and safe. I'll On put everyone here. Solid copy, Commander. Stepping off. Okay. Roger that. Everyone on the ladder. Keep everyone on together. It's not as dangerous as it uh, is in the vanilla because you have six guys. Um, Shh. I think I heard something. Which is good because you're going to be taking rookies in on mission after mission here. Now, while this is full cover, I prefer up here for the even higher elevation, better sight lines. I can get closer and still have half cover to where this roof up here has no lip. So I'm going to move right there. All right, put everybody there as well. Welcome. Uh-uh. That is not what I wanted him to do. Hard to do. Okay. I'll get them in a little bit better position to move up next time. Stepping off. Yes, sir. And last but not least, Mio Kobayashi. Her right there. All, <laughs> all O for Overwatch. Okay. Now they can move that far. Let's um. Heading to that location. Have Inez move up. Nothing. Okay. Interesting. On my way. Moving to position. Solid copy. I'm just lining aye, them up aye. on the edge. I'm on the move. Put 
come on Overwatch. I don't think we're alone out here. They're directly across. Here we come, four of them. Eyes on target. They're moving. Oh no. Now, the first turn they move, they are not on Overwatch, but our Overwatch shots have been really good, and I'm gonna set Moving. everyone up. Up here along the roof. On the move. On they the don't move. have grenades. On and the I don't move. wanna drop down and move move forward. Moving to position. I know next turn they'll probably be on Overwatch. They're not on Overwatch right now. On my way. All right. I could also um, I could also steady some of them's weapons, but I'd rather have maximum firepower on anybody trying to come up at us. One boosting the other, and we get three of them that can see him. One did hit for five. That was pretty good. And now two can see him. And that's gonna hit for four. So we're hoping uh, that was the only one coming up. Here's another one. He's on Overwatch. And our last Overwatch shot is a miss. Enemy is still alive. Okay, so they're on Overwatch. So 66. That's a pretty darn good chance to hit. And none of their grenades are going to reach. I like that chance. That's pretty good. Fire. No good. Uh, missed. Let's just work it down the row here. 61. Three points. And you see the little one right there. That is um, damage absorption. Because the guy is in cover, he's behind some... Uh, He's behind a little bit. It absorbed one of the uh, one point of damage. So I could, so even firing a pistol could result in no damage. So I'm not a big fan Negative of firing damage. pistols. 66, we're still trying to kill this guy. There we go. Taken care of. Now this group had four, we have two. Um, 50-50. Adjusting sights. And he's on Overwatch, so we definitely don't want to move out. 43 is terrible. And just cannot reach it. We'll try it anyway. It is a hit for two and one is absorbed. Even though he was on Overwatch, there is one other guy in the back. And now he's hunkered down. We've killed two. There's one other guy. If we move up here to flank him, we could definitely kill him, but um, we could also move into the Overwatch for the other guy. 1%, 1%, 5%. So none of that's any good. We are about to have everyone run out of ammo. So. I'm gonna reload half of them. Right, cat bang. It's killing time. Back online. And overwatch the rest. And now he's not hunkered down, but he's on Overwatch. But the fact that he's injured is interesting. I'm gonna reload. Reloaded. It's killing anybody time. I didn't reload last time. Reloaded. And have everybody else shoot at him. Actually, can we sh toss the grenade? Should have looked at that earlier. Not for that one. But he's closest. She's closest. Hannah. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. 45. We only need one hit. Adjusting aim. To make two points connect. 43 if we have three of them. Damn it, the Odds are one should do it. Shot failed to connect. Now that doesn't seem right, does it? We have 45% chance, we fired three times and none of them hit. Those odds do not sound correct. 
see if we can drop that in the window. Like that. Catch. An anti personnel grenade. Commander, your men want to instruct your men to exercise restraint when using explosives. While certainly ah. effective at killing aliens, they also destroy the artifacts we're hoping to recover from the bodies. Just something to consider. So if that is accurate, then that means anti-personnel grenades um, do destroy the weapon fragments. That's good to know. 36, that's a pretty bad chance to hit. But we get a lot of them. Five. Adjusting sights. Wow. Missed. There we go. X-ray neutralized. Nice. Overwatch. We have another group out there. Hmm. I want to be able to hear the group. Let's reload anyone who needs to. Let's rock. Listen. Reloaded. I don't want to run into anything. Just put everyone on Overwatch and listen. Okay, it's in that direction. What was that? Okay, so we're looking at maybe something in there. Let's have to take a look. Highly mobile, mainly because they're in these vests. Moving to position. Um, I think because uh, you get a little bit more armor. You see, they only have like four hit points. So this is not the best armor uh, I would choose for them. I prefer to That's have less mobility and more protection, just in case they get shot, because they spend so much time in the infirmary if they get shot. <laughs> Overwatch. And we're back. All right. Moving Let's get everybody location. caught up a little bit. Move him up. I'm thinking they're back over there somewhere. Moving. Move across the front. That's Let's affirmative. Back right there and then there. Okay. Aye, aye, Commander. That looks good. Alright, they are behind that building. So we could get into the building and come out, out of the door. I don't know who has had more kills than the other. It's not showing me that anybody has a promotion already. It's hard to know. Copy that. Move up right here. See, the thing is, if I move in right there on that first move, and there were some aliens right here, for example, which is not the case, but... Uh, he would be completely exposed while they run for cover or just decide to gun him down. So his offense is pretty bad. He would benefit the most from having a uh, steady weapon. Inez here. And that's something else about positioning your guys standing in the doorway uh, like I normally do. If now, if they stand in the doorway, your guy opens the door, the aliens could look up and say, hey, let's shoot the guy in the doorway rather than, rather than move. So, yes, sir. a little bit more to consider, a little bit more dangerous. You definitely don't want to be standing out in the open at all without any cover at all. Alright. 
hopefully they're going to stay where they are, which is no, there's no guarantee of that. Have these two stated their weapons? Anyone else on Overwatch? And now they're at the front of that truck, looks like. Let's go ahead and open the door. I'm sure my team would love to get their hands on Oh, right there. And sure enough, there's your itchy trigger tentacle. He decided to fire. These guys are tough to take down, so let's, uh, they have a lot of damage reduction. And they're tough. 91, fire. Nice. All right, these are the last guys on the map. And a flank Ready shot is an automatic critical. They can't go into Overwatch immediately. 100, 100. He's down. Seven point critical, and I can pick who's gonna do it, but I wasn't keeping track of who got the kills before. Um, so I'm just gonna pick, uh, you know, random guys. Thanks to that location. I mean, you could keep track of who got what kills and uh, just the spread the experience around better. If I may, Commander, the labs are on high alert. No, you may not. Let us go home. All right, so we're heading back. That was in India. Commander to the research labs. Commander to the research labs. Back to base. Welcome to XCOM HQ, Commander. Thanks, Brad. I Impressive work, Commander. Oh, I Our did do it. have to be feeling good after a mission like that. Even though Pablo got no kills. Now, I've seen... Uh, okay, this is a direct result of Not So Long War. So the promotions come... Commander you get a little bit more experience. Labs. Commander to the research labs. And... Uh, I don't want... The recovered artifacts are being unloaded and the research team is... I don't want her to be paging me. Uh, Every member of the council While is going I'm doing to this. satellite coverage. Okay, now, <laughs> back to the barracks. Um, let's see who we have. Enrique. And here's telling you the experience. The heavy okay. weapons specialist provides a crucial service to the squad. With the rocket launcher in tow, there are demolitions experts. Right, we can have a rocketeer or a gunner. And... Uh, Hang on, let me think about this. Okay, a Rocketeer is good late game. Um, a Gunner is good late game. A Rocketeer is good early game. If his... Uh, oh, look at the plus five. Is that the... Um, Five. Let's see the loadout. Now he's using a laser sight, which has a new new graphic. That's cool. Plus five. That's where the plus five is coming from. It has nothing to do with what he's about to experience or anything like that. I'm gonna get one of everything. Um, early in the how about this? Early in the game, you do not want to be destroying stuff. You want to be um, shooting things. We need the weapon fragments, we need everything we can get. We can destroy stuff later. Um, a rocket is always good for an emergency. Well, let's go with the gunner for the suppression. And this is the color for the gunner. Basically, like, gray. And what I was saying on the loadout, that they were using the vest. They are using the vest. I prefer the tack armor. The vest gives a health bonus of 1. The tack armor gives a health bonus of 2. You just have less movement. And we'll discuss the weapons and figure out what we're going to do with that. Now, this guy has minus two armor, terrible aim. Our so the abilities here. Massive amounts of damage from afar, but without sufficient training, they're vulnerable in close combat situations. Now, my favorite class is, are scouts and snipers. My problem is she can't hit the broadside of a barn. And she has minus two armor. Now, having minus two armor 
um, doesn't really matter if you're a sniper. But the aim does 63. She's just going to have to take a minus 30 penalty. All right. I'm... Or I could go random and hope I get engineer or something like that. But with my luck, I'd get gunner. And I don't want to pass up the opportunity to have some early snipers and scouts. So I'm going to go with sniper and hopefully her aim will bump up a lot when I do that. Yes, it's up to 70. That's pretty good. Color for sniper is red. So the aim is up. So even though the armor is down, she's going to be in the back with squad sight. All right. Now the colors of the classes up here do not correspond to the uniforms. They're just the colors that the guys chose. Inez Ruiz. She has a great aim. Just like it sounds, the support class provides that intangible edge our squads need. They make everyone around them better. Now here's my thinking of, on this. Uh, a grenadier is um, good for being uh, a guy to take them out with an arc thrower or throw grenades. Field medic is, you know, always required. However, she has the best aim of the rookies that went on this mission. Both of these classes aim doesn't really enter into it like it would on something else. So I want her to be something else. I'm going to go random. Sniper with 78 now. So 75 went up to 78 and she's a sniper. So we have two snipers. Now I'm not saying I don't need a medic. I do, but there'll be, we have a long roster to go through. The assault class serves as our front line. They're the first ones into a fight and the last ones out. Now, as far as assault goes, I may go ahead with the shotgun and use these guys as the last ditch effort to come in to run and gun and take them out. The other option is to go infantry, but with the infantry, yeah, I get a couple of shots or whatever. His aim sucks. So with the lower aim, unless I want to go random and hopefully get a medic or a grenadier, I'm going to go ahead and make uh, Leon Liang a an assault so you can get in close with the shotgun 63 aim green is my color for assault and that was that was iffy i could have gone random with that and i might have got a medic and that would have been better 70 aim aim is really good armor is really bad um so ideally a sniper somebody not in combat, even though the aim is good, ideally a sniper. Tempted to go infantry, but the armor is so bad. Defense, defense is so bad. So I'm gonna go random. Rocketeer, okay. Um, still being vulnerable, and, but, and kind of wasting the aim. Mm, so, I don't know. <laughs> infantry would have been, would have been good. Uh, Mobility, I gotta look at the mobility too. The sniper's not very mobile, that's fine. And the will here. Aim is okay. Armor is minus one. Defense is minus one. Um, for every group, we need a medic. We definitely need a medic. Um, <laughs> that looks good. I'm gonna make him a medic. And white is my color for medic. And that is the end of the very first mission. We have a roster of 25 that we start off with. You see how everybody's defense and offense is kind of a little random, uh, which is cool. All right. So I hope you enjoyed that mission. Uh, we only got one meld from it because you notice I didn't take any canisters, but we still got something. Um, so this is my first mission on, on the Long War. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please like, subscribe, and tell your friends. Until next time, stay safe.